This sequence explains the method for installing Ground Force's lightweight and versatile map box, which is used for supporting small excavations on two, three or four sites. Map boxes are a lightweight system which can be assembled by hand. Begin assembly of the box by supporting the corner post in the upright position. Slide a panel into one end. Secure the post and panel with four pins and R clips per panel. For an open end, two struts are used instead of panels. Adjust the strut length as required and secure with pins and R clips. Repeat this procedure for any remaining panels and struts. For three or four sided boxes, ensure that all panels are stacked to full height on the first and second side of the box before beginning to build the third and fourth side. Typical two, three and four sided assembled boxes are illustrated here. Map boxes must be installed in pre-dug excavations. The required trench or pit should be defined by staking down guide beams. Excavate an initial pit to the required depth, plus an allowance of approximately 100 to 150 millimeters wider than the box. Lift and lower the assembled map box into the pit using an excavator. Assembled boxes must only be suspended from designated lifting points marked in red. Any voids between the box and the excavation should be backfilled with granular material between the ground and the sides of the box to form a level surface as necessary. Subsequent edge protection and ladder access should be placed as soon as possible to provide a safe working environment in and around the trench within which to construct the permanent works. To extract the box, attach a four-legged lifting chain and ease the box out of the excavation, rocking the box from side to side as necessary. Once the box has been lifted clear of the excavation, reinstatement can then continue to ground level. Disassembly is the reverse of assembly. All equipment should be cleaned and stacked, ready for reuse or collection. This video is to be viewed in conjunction with the detailed written user guide, which is available to download from our technical library found on our website.